So everyone, box chat does have some limitations, but we're gonna get to that in a minute. There's about 10 limitations that he did not discuss in this. So the ChatGPT Plus subscription is $20 a month, the Cloud Pro subscription is $20 a month, and Gemini Advanced is yet another $20 a month. Okay. And if you want to use AI image models, then you'll have to spend even more. Now, depending on the specific type of task that you're trying to accomplish, a model might be good and the other one might not be that good, okay? Now, let's say you want to do some coding stuff and you are subscribed to the ChatGPT Plus subscription, okay? And now in this context, if you want to use Cloud AI, then you will have to go ahead and pay for another $20 a month just, just to try that model, right? Well, this is where BoxChat AI comes into play. So BoxChat is like an all-in-one AI platform that you can use to access pretty much all AI models out there, okay? So you can go ahead. Okay, so even though you can access all the models out there like Claude AI, uh, GPT-4, uh, Mid Journey, and a whole bunch of other AI tools, even though you can access them, there are limitations to it. So let me give you the first, uh, I'll give you the first four limitations, then we'll get back to his demonstration so you can see how it works. But you need to know the limitations before you go ahead and start messing with box chat, all right? So the first one is uh, the potential learning curve, okay? The playground and sync features uh, may require a little bit of time to master, guys, especially for new users unfamiliar with the multi-model interactions. Like if you've never been in a dashboard before that has multiple models and everything like that, then it might be a little bit tricky for you, okay? So then we have credit exhaustion risk, okay? <laughs> now, this is what a lot of people don't tell you, especially when these uh, flat fee programs come out. Even some of the subscription models, like when you have credits and stuff, when it's based off credits, it's kind of like putting quarters into an arcade. You understand what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's a quarter, but like the more you want to play, you by the time you're done, you walk away, you spend ten dollars, right? So it's kind of like that. So high demand users could exhaust credits quickly on the lower tier plans, potentially resulting in unexpected costs. So it's like it's a psychological, you know, uh, I don't want to call it a trick, but you know. Uh, to convince you to use box chat, they say, hey, instead of using all of these um, these AI tools separately and paying monthly for them, you know what I'm saying, uh, use ours. But depending on how much you use based off of credit, see the other ones don't have a credit usage situation. They just have a monthly fee, right? So you feel like you're getting away from the monthly fee by doing this option right here. But if you use a lot of credits, then you might be spending just as much, right? So number three, an annual bill for savings, okay? It says dependency on annual billing for savings. The lowest advertised rates apply only with annual billing. So the ones uh, that they're advertising as far as price and stuff, it's only that cheap if you set up annual billing, okay? So that might not be something that you know, you guys want to do. So number four, limited advanced model updates. Box, ch box chat may lag behind on newly released models, especially if specific models have limited ca compatibility with its framework. Since it is like its own build, its own model and everything, like a lot of stuff is not going to be compatible with it from the other AI tools just right off the back, and they're going to have to modify things in order to be able to provide that for you. So you'll be behind uh, everybody else with that. And subscribe to a paid plan by paying $12 or $18, and you can go ahead and access GPT-4, GPT-4, O, O1 Mini, Claude Opus, Mistral, Llama, Grok, whatever be that AI model that you want to use, Box Chat has got all of that. I mean, let me show you what I'm talking about. So the first thing that you're gonna do is to sign up for a new account on boxchat.ai. Click the first link in the description below <laughs> to access this page. And once you're on this page, click on the get started button and you can go ahead and sign up for an account. So once you sign up for an account and log into your account, this is going to be the interface that you'll be treated with. Okay. And by the looks of it, you could tell this looks pretty similar to that of ChatGPT yeah, or Claude for that matter. And you can go ahead and send any message and the AI model will respond to you as easy as that but the coolest part is this option right here which is like a drop down so this is the menu. part i was talking so upon about clicking this drop down menu it will show all the available models within this particular tool okay so, so it has everything GPT in there mini 3.5 turbo gemini 1.5 flash then we have llama 3.1 we have mistral we have cloud 3.5 sonnet then we have perplexity gpt 40 the main ones you might be excited about is the claude and perplexity in there 
Of course, it has GPT-4, but I've seen other tools, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> that have GPT-4 in them. Like, pretty much everything has GPT-4 in it. I'm kind of sick of it. What about y'all? GPT-4, Claude 3 Opus. So, all of these are different AI models that you can chat with, okay? So let's say I want to chat with GPT-40, I could select it from here and go ahead and send a message and chat GPT-40 mini is the model that is going to communicate with me. And now let's say I want to chat with a different model, let's say Cloud 3 Opus. So I can go ahead and select it and send another message, let's say hi. And this response that box chat is giving me right now is from Cloud 3 Opus. Okay, okay? So that's this cool, but let's see what else from it can Cloud do. 3 Opus. What else can it do? We know it can chit chat. Let's see. He's going to switch to a different model. All right, yeah, let's see the coding. A simple React to do app. I can hit enter. And if you notice, you can see that message has been sent to all three. So he asks, and look, you can you can uh, request from like multiple models. Okay, you see right there, it says three layouts right there. So it says it has box chat AI, it has, I mean, it has uh, uh, GPT-4, it has Claude AI, uh, it has Claude 3 Opus, and then it has Perplexity. So he asked it to write code for a simple React Toto app. React Toto app or To Do app, whatever the hell that is. Okay, let's see what it does. Of these models, and all <laughs> three of these models are actually writing the code or the response wow. for whatever prompt that we gave. Okay. That's actually kind of cool. You can see yeah. all the responses given by all three of these models, and as you might already know, depending on the model that you use, the response that you get is also going to be very different. In yeah. fact, if you look at all the codes that is generated by all three of these models, you could tell all of them are very different, right? Now, mm -hmm. depending on your use case and whatever works for you, you can go ahead and select the one that works for you, okay? For example, in this context, I, as I can see, this one uh, that's generated by Perplexity has a lot of styling stuff, CSS and all kind of stuff like that. So if I were you guys, if I'm using this tool for like, you know, building an app or something like that, even though we want to leverage AI and everything, we still need a human eye, okay? Because there's a lot of errors in all of these tools still. And you don't want to release a, a, an app out to the well. It's going to have bugs in this first uh, versions any damn way. So you don't want to just waste, you know, time trying to perfect things and everything. But you still want to have a, a proofreading, so to speak, for your app. OK, but in these two, we don't have any CSS or anything as such. OK, now you can go ahead and mix and match and use various different AI models and chat with it in real time and get information and compare it. So you can go ahead and essentially compare the responses and select the best one, okay? I now let's say you want to CSS. chat with only a single model. Just go ahead and disable the sync option and you should now get individual chat box and you can go ahead and let's say add sticky notes functionality. Ah, that's okay. crazy. Okay. That Just for demonstration cold. purpose, you can go ahead and give it uh, another command. And okay. now this message is only sent to Cloud 3 Opus and you can see Perplexity and GPT-40 does not really have that message, okay? That's crazy. Okay, so now let me give you uh, four more limitations that uh, Box Chat has. It's impressive, guys. It's pretty impressive and it's like it, it helps with organization, especially if you use all these tools. So it's basically a dashboard for all your G, uh, your AI, AI tools, okay? That's pretty much what's special about it, organization. Okay, so number five, all right? I'm gonna give you five. We might as well just do five through 10, okay? These are five limitations that Box Chat AI has, okay? So model output variability, okay? Response quality can differ uh, significantly among models, possibly leading to confusion for users unfamiliar with the model capabilities, okay? So look, a lot of stuff is gonna look different in here because as I said earlier today, um, they had to modify some of these tools or their platform in order to be able to add these tools to their own platform, okay? So it's some stuff is not gonna behave the same way as if you went to the original AI tool, okay? Number six, reduce control over fine tuning. Unlike, unlike, unlike standalone models, BoxChat may offer limited control over fine tuning <laughs> or advanced customization of specific AI models. So like I said, since this is not the original tool itself, this might just be like the bare bones version. Like it's just gonna take the, um, 
essentials from the original versions just so you guys like, oh, this is Claude. This is, you know, perplexity, right? But it's going to take them more time to be able to make it exactly like those other tools in this one tool. All right, number seven, potential latency. Multi-model comparisons or image generation could lead to slower response times during high demand periods. And I get that. Like, even when he was just uh, responding or asking for the code, it came out pretty fast, but it is slower than usual, depending if you have the paid versions of these other models. But that ain't that big of a deal. Then we have number eight, inconsistent styling and code outputs. BoxChat does not automatically standardize or format code outputs between models, which could hinder coding tasks. So as you just saw with all three of these, the code came out different, okay? But it's not always gonna be like that, which is why it's confusing. Like one day perplexity might work good. The next day, Claude three opus might be the one that takes it. Then the next day it could be GPT-4. So you're not gonna be able to find a dependable one like as if you could just train the one that you have if you were doing a standalone. All right, so then we have number nine, restricted model capabilities for uh, starter users. The lower tier starter plan may not offer enough credits. And that's what I was saying earlier. That's how they get you in. Like, hey, instead of paying for all of these different, you know, AI tools, look, we house all of them here. We host them all on this one platform and you can just pay us. Don't worry, you saving money. But guys, since there's multiple models on here and you're going to want to be using all of them, you might end up paying the same damn amount through credits or more. Okay, so don't be tricked. I'm not saying don't try it out at least. Definitely try it, but you know, don't marry it. Okay, number 10, platform reliability. As an aggregation tool, BoxChat could face disruptions if certain models, uh, if certain models experience service issues or licensing changing. Since they're not the original, it's gonna like have to pass down things. You understand? And they they're gonna be late with stuff. So it might be times where you log in. Like for example, it's a tool that will scrape TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram for the past couple of weeks. Like the Instagram portion of that tool, which is the best part, <laughs> has been down. But the TikTok and the YouTube section works. But it's like, dog, like Instagram started like blocking the tool and stuff, right? So, yeah, this type of stuff can happen over here on this, guy. So it says you can face disruptions if they have licensing changing, impacting users' access to specific AI. So the ones that are available right now might not stay available depending on how licensing goes with this tool. This could just be a little, you know, test run, right? You can go ahead and now start using uh, Claude 3 Opus or whatever model that you want to. Now for another example, I can go ahead and ask it a simple question like, which is the tallest building in the world? Hit enter and let's see. Message is now sent to all three of these models and as you can see, the response, okay? We have all the details and you know, you can go ahead and compare the responses and use the one that you find the most helpful, okay? okay? Okay. So that's all for the chat playground option and it is also by far my favorite feature in here. And apart from these text-based models, BoxChat also comes with uh, two image generation models that you can use as well, okay? All right, so let's see the image generation. So this image generation model and all the other models that you saw earlier, all and everything is bundled in one single plan and you get to use both stable diffusion and flex, okay? That's if you cool. were to use a separate AI image generator like Midjourney, stable diffusion or flex, you will have to pay again on top of whatever uh, chatbot that you're already paying for. Okay? Yeah, for but what about the credits? GPT or Claude already, then for getting hyper-realistic images using stable diffusion or flex, you will have to go ahead and pay. Let's see what some of the uh, images look like, man. I want to see. Okay. This one better. That's the one generated by Stable Diffusion. And again, you can go scroll down and find the image history section where you can find all the images that you previously generated. So all of these are examples of images that I generated. Okay, earlier. I want to see the other one. Let's see. Ah, so here's the pricing right here, y'all. Pro plan, you get all of these features and the highlighted one is that 30,000 AI credits. And for the expert plan, which is like $28 per month, if billed annually, and you get 96,000 AI credits, okay? And okay, so what you need to do, guys, if you're gonna try this out, you see right up under the pro, uh, the one in the middle, 
recommended. <laughs> Remember, the cheapest one is where is you see he has it turned on to annually. Of course, like when you go to any of these sites, the annual plan is going to be their cheapest bet, right, for you. Okay? So if you turn it monthly, it might be just as expensive as the other ones, right? All right, but but what you want to do though is you want to cuz it look like a lot, 30,000 AI credits and all of that stuff. That looks like a lot. So click on the credit usage guide and use the credit calculator. You know, I guess you'll be able to like put you know, what, what type of projects as an example that you'll be working on, like how many credits would it take to generate an, an image or something. For example, if you are an SEO and, and you do a lot of article writing and stuff, <laughs> shoot, and you got to have images for each article. Like me, when I teach SEO, I, I recommend that they have, you know, 12 to 14 original images on their uh, their website pages that are geo tagged and everything. Right. So like if I'm, I'm generating 14 original images using this software right here and it takes 100 dang on credits to generate one image, I doubt it does, but I'm just giving you an example. Like we don't know, you gotta click on the credit usage guide. Matter of fact, I should have broke that down. My bad, do a Jet Li sidekick to the subscription button. If you're new to the channel and do an unbox, unbox flying high knee kick Muay, uh, Muay Thai style to the share button, make sure you come back, all right? Love you guys.